You meet all kinds of characters in this biz, but with Paul Gonzalez and his guys, you know you'll get real suspension. You gotta admire Mopar culture. It's completely different. To a Ford and GM guy, a torsion bar is a place to go to on a Friday night. On a Cuda, it's all about stability. We made great progress on the suspension installation today. Um, I did the prep work on the car to fit up the main support frame and the rear suspension. We had to remove the upper brace that runs side to side, which is the shock absorber mount brace. So Dan got in there with the plasma cutter and cut the bulk of it out of there. Then we went back with um, drills and, uh, and cut the spot welds out and chiseled the remaining pieces out of there. Dan is, is big into the plasma cutting right there. I think he likes it. He's actually pretty good at it. That's how they suck you in, with praise. Then you learn the harsh reality. He actually did a great job today because he could have easily burned through the brace into the trunk floor, which he didn't do, so it worked out really good today. When they tell you you could have done worse, you have to question the sincerity, don't you? With the big sparks out of the way, the team gets back to continuing with their modifications. A notch is needed for an oversized exhaust system to hug the floor, but the brace still needs to be effective. Boxing it makes it thinner and keeps its strength. People at Riley Motorsports um, developed this system to give the muscle car a better handling capability. The suspension in this car is basically race car bred. The ideology, the theory behind its operation has done just that. So we're hoping that when the car's put together, even though it's got a big hemi stuff in the front, that it'll still pull down good numbers on the skid pad. And the four of us grabbed the, the assembly and brought it over to the car and held it up in place to check to see how the alignment was gonna go. And originally we had talked about putting it in the car and taking it out maybe two or three times just to really double check it, but it actually went in the car so well that after the first attempt, uh, Paul was ready to weld it in place. The antiquated leaf spring system won't be missed when this new suspension takes the load. Once the assembly was welded up into the car, then you just started hanging pieces. So we started with uh, the center section, the, the gears. Uh, that was bolted in place. Once we got the main uh, support structure into the car, the first things we put on were the lower control arms, then the upper control arms. Well, with this particular build, we wanted, as we talked about in the very beginning, we wanted to have the car look basically stock to, to highlight the products that we, we supply to the industry. But we wanted the car to be a lot more than just a stock car. We wanted a bigger engine, we wanted a lot of pizzazz, and, of course, the independent rear suspension in the car, that's completely different than what was in the car originally. And it's a very nice rear end. It tracks very well. And uh, it, the, the visual factor is really big. So people are going to love it when they see it. When you get to putting the suspension on the car and you can actually see the wheels that are going to hang on the car and see all the pieces going on, um, it really drives it home. You get excited about the parts and they're coming together. It makes the car look whole. Seeing that Viper logo could also make you say, holy, you know. The best part about the suspension is when you could actually start putting the real bits on, the caliper and the rotors, and, and get everything to fit. You know, we're really excited about the way that this car is coming together. There's a lot of brake area in this car. This car should be able to throw you through the windshield when you put the brakes on. But brakes are only there when you want them. With this much power and a very cool stance, most of the braking will happen by others who stop and look. Yeah, it looks good. I know you told me what the ratio was, but the bottom line is this is one nasty piece. 